Hi everyone, welcome back to another week's Beachcombing in North Norfolk, United Kingdom. Got an insane amount of finds for you this week. Some amazing pictures from one of our subscribers, including one of the oldest fossils ever shown on this channel. So buckle up and let's get into it. <sighs> lovely, lovely chunk of bone. It's got a lovely surface on there, look. Deep, rich colour, beautiful. Lovely. So it's nice. It's a beautiful bit of flint. Oh, jet black. That's lovely. Beautiful. That's a nice bit of bone. Lovely. Texture of antler, hasn't it? Possible. Beautiful. Beautiful sun dog there. Dual sun dog, look. Just one slightly over there, and then one over there. Clues about that one. Oh, it looks like a tusk, probably just bone in it. But... Nah, that's tusk, isn't it? Not more tusk. Oh, God, I love it. Pretty sure it is. That's that bit of tusk, Terry. Karma. Karma, karma. Chameleon. Now, a mega shout out going out to my loyalist subscriber. David Thomas, he's been here from the start, he really has. In fact, you'd be hard pressed to find a video on my channel that hasn't got a comment from David. Anyway, here's some amazing pictures of a quarry where him and his wife are wardens in Worcestershire. What a stunning looking place that is. Love to explore there. So basically he doesn't do a huge amount of breaking rocks because they've got a peregrine's nest in there. Apparently they've had some trouble. And uh, they're on the lookout for the people who've been disturbing the nest. Anyway, this is David's first ever find, an ammonite. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. 190 million years old, and this was his first uh, find. And this was Burton Bradstock Dorset, he found this. But this is the beast of all beasts. I love trilobites anyway, you know. You know what I think about ammonites. But this is amazing. Now, he's found this, and with help from a guy called Mark, who works at the quarry, they've prepped it. And this trilobite dates back approximately 430 million years old. I'll just say that one more time. 430 million years old. What the... Stunning, David. Amazing find. Find of a lifetime. Look at that.
And here's some more of David's finds. Hopefully we'll look forward to seeing in more detail in the future. Thanks again, David. That's a nice bit. Look at that regular pattern on there. <laughs> Beautiful. And then I think, yeah, very weathered bone again. And hey, and another little bit. Lovely. Pick and mix. Yeah, so look at this. I have a better look when I get them, but that's very similar to the other ones. 100% of work tool, this is this thing. And I'm not sure what they were for, but some kind of, I don't know what they used it for. You can see it's a flake, but uh, before this disappears, because the tide's coming in, as you can see, I've just seen something else. Look at this rough old seas this morning. But surely, isn't it? It is. I'm so chuffed, mate. Oh, I love it. Look. These waves. Roughage. And I don't mean cereals. Oh. What have we got? I can't believe it. I would love it, I would love it more too. You know, I've backed Elon Musk since day one, but he's slightly extracting the urine now, because, like, I live in the Western world, not a third world country. I'm watching all these satellites head over above in a maelstrom, and I, I, I can only get 1.7 meg from BT where I live. It's like... It's like slow torture, honestly. You could use it to um, interrogate terrorists. Well, and when I say terrorists, I don't mean the terrorists that they tell you that are terrorists. I mean the ones who are in power. Anyway, long story short, come on, Elon. I've backed you since day one, mate. And and and, and Starlink could, will still cost me eight pound a month, not including the uh, anyway. Shut up. Ralph. What is this? Any good? Right, okay. Okay, I'm going to say that's good. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to say that's pretty good. That's very primitive hand axe, that is. So that's got to be old, doesn't it? Because that is very primitive. Heavy hammer flake job, quick in a rush. Let's sort it out and make it work and do the job. Obviously, that was the cutting edge, almost unifacial, but lovely. Oh, bloody hell, you slag. Yeah, I'm not finding much. I've highlighted this before, but um, with uh, seals and that that have turned up. But I've said uh, about these uh, s uh, mammals getting caught in the uh, the propellers of ships, and uh, happening more often than you would think. And I looked along the beach a minute ago, and I thought, oh, it looks like seal. We get, obviously we get a lot of dead seals with such a big seal colony around here. But occasionally, um, it's not a seal, and that's the case now, so if you don't like seeing uh, dead animals, don't look away for a minute, so, because we've got what was essentially an absolutely beautiful porpoise here, and it's clearly been done by a propeller. So sad. 
so sad that it totally took its head off. Look, it's the only thing that's done that. There's nothing else that can do that. It's got scars on it all over it, and I wonder what they've come from. Look, during its life or something, maybe, but I don't know. But such a beautiful animal. Look at all them. Maybe that's just how oh, this happened when it's rolling around on the beach, probably. But I mean, this is a this is a big animal. Look, good size porpoise, harbour porpoise like. Such a shame. It would have been so beautiful alive. So I just thought I'd put a highlight, you know. How, how can this happen so often with such a big ocean? And I wonder whether they get confused or they're just bad luck. Because, I mean, you see dolphins riding along in front of bow waves of boats and they seem to play with it. So why do so many other animals... This isn't hard at all. This is fresh. Totally fresh. Sorry, mate. Poor thing. Anyway, sorry about that. You can look back now. So, this one's freaked me right out, this has. <laughs> and they think wrap up that look like bone, and I completely agree. And now we're looking at that side, you're thinking, well, it looks a little bit like bone, but it could just be an imprint of some wood. Yeah, totally agree with you. Couldn't agree more, to be honest, until, uh, until you turn it round that way. And you look there. Just there. Is where I can see that irregular marrow pattern. And that's what's telling me that that is actually a slab of bone. And it's obviously had trabecular structure. So it could be a part of um, a skull. Something from part of a skull. It's going to be very difficult to know, but... I but a nice bone or something, have a proper look when I, when I get it home, like, you know, obviously. So, uh, here we go. Lovely chunk. It's weighty, that is. Uh, what have we got here? A little old worn chunk, looks like a giant crisp. It's exciting. Pretty sure it's a bit of squished. And look, by the look of the patterning on there. Um, right, there's a couple of other little bits up here, but I'm not going to bother with that. Right, broke this. Uh, here's this tip for you. Got some tusk in your pocket. Don't sit on it when you get in the car. Otherwise, you ruin it like that. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. But I did. Anyway. Uh, never mind. Still. That just means I've got three bits of tusk, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's hilarious, Ralph. Okay. Beauty, look at this. Gotta be trabecular structure. Nice, th thick. So you would have thought this is a thick bit of skull. So God knows what that could have come off. Could have been rhino, couldn't it, or something? Look at it. There's no other explanation for that. And yet, like I say, it's not. I say. Uh, that's not just, is it? No, just so I can see the, pretty sure I can see the marrow in there. Just thought for a minute, it's, no, it's, it's crazy anyway. Hell of a tough piece. Yeah, bone, bonio. So I'm going to show you this, right? So I see this a lot. If anyone knows what type of tool this was, was it some kind of drill or perforate? It's just the end's been broken or something? Just didn't look fine enough for a drill to me, but I expect you could put pressure on that. You know, it could have been actually a, a drill or a perforator or, a, you know, for making holes in stuff. I liked it. Anyway, nice little slab of uh, black. And I know, especially for you, David, for sending in pictures, hell of a big chunky bulb area here. But I knew you'd love that black flint, Dave, is it? Hey? What about that, mate? Hey, make up for last week. What do you reckon to this then? Look at that. Once you get shied on it, and that, you know, it's looking dull outside, but look at that. Just used like a natural piece of uh, uh, flint, and look at the colour. 
stunning stunning and uh oh what can you say apart from beautiful two two good plates of a good sized tooth of a proboscidean beautiful look at the colors in there thank you everyone for watching on i'll have an update on the spade uh shovel not spade i've got a spade a spade shovel next week thanks everybody for watching thanks for all your interaction and support and thanks david for sending in them amazing pictures 430 million years old ridiculous over and out